Hello there. In this coding tidbit, we're going to show you how to use loops to make shapes. So let's get coding. I've already loaded the Scratch website. I'm going to go ahead and click on Create to go ahead and create a new project. Now the first thing that I do on every project is I like to go ahead and decompose uh, the what it is that I'd like to end up doing. So in this case, what I would like to do is I would like to have a sprite that when you push a button, let's say push a specific key, um, a shape is drawn in the middle of the screen. And let's say I want a square, uh, and that will be an S for a square, and I'll do a T for a triangle. I'll do a, um, Let's do a pentagon as well. And let's do an octagon. So that's kind of a simple plan, but uh, it should get us through what it is that we want to do. So we've got our setup here. We have a sprite at the bottom and it's the cat sprite. When I'm dealing with shapes, I prefer to have a little bit different sprite. I prefer to use the arrow so I can see which direction my sprite is pointing. So I'm gonna delete the cat uh, and now that I did that, I actually just lost my plan that I decomposed. So make sure that when you delete things, you uh, aren't deleting something that you've already written things onto. I'm going to go ahead and choose a sprite. And in this case, I'm going to choose an arrow. I like this arrow here. It's a little bit large for me, so I'm going to change its size by clicking on the size and changing that to, let's say, 25% of its normal size. So it's kind of small, but that's going to help me see exactly where I would like things to be set up. So let's say that, first of all, um, when I click the S is what we had worked into our plan. So I'm going to click on events and I'm going to pull out a when space key is pressed. And instead of the space, I'm going to click on the drop down and choose the S key. Now that I've got the S key, what I want to do is I want to make sure that my um, my arrow is positioned in the middle of the screen. So I'm going to go to motion and I'm going to move it to zero, zero. So I'm going to find the go to X, Y. And right now it has negative 73, negative nine, because that's where my, my sprite is. I'm going to change that to be a zero for the X and a zero for the Y. So if we test that out right now, it's always good to code a little and then test. If I type S, you can see it's moved it right to the middle of the screen. So if I move it, my sprite here to the bottom left-hand corner and I hit S again, you can see I've now moved it to the middle of the screen. Great, now that I've done that, I'm actually ready to start drawing, which is what I wanna do. I wanna draw a square with the S. So the drawing tools are not in any of these basic blocks. Instead, at the very bottom, you'll see that there's a add extension button. I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to choose the pen draw with your sprites extension. So the first thing that I really want to do is I want to make sure any other picture that has been drawn on the screen is erased. So I'm just going to erase everything to begin with. And once I have gone to the uh, zero zero position, now that it's erased, I am ready to start drawing. This is where we're going to use a loop to draw a shape. So in this case, I want to go to control and I can find a loop. Now, if it's a square, I'm going to repeat this four times. So right now it has a 10. I'm just going to change that repeat to four. What I want to repeat four times is I want to move forward. Let's say I want to move 100 steps. And once I've moved 100 steps, I'm going to need to turn 90 degrees. And I need to turn 90 degrees four times. And I will turn 90 degrees to the right And now that I've done that, I'm actually ready to test this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the S. Great, now it's kind of moving a little fast and we can't really see anything having been drawn. So what I need to do, first of all, I erased everything, but I forgot to put my pen down onto the paper. So I need to go back to the pen tool and over here where I've erased everything, I also need to put the pen down and here it is. There's a put pen down button. So let's make sure that I've got that pen down every time I draw. And now I'm going to hit the S button again. 
Now you can see every time I draw, it's erasing and then redrawing that square in that very same place. If I want to see that happen a little bit faster, I can put a weight in the middle of my repeat or at the end of the things that I'm doing inside the repeat. One second's kind of a long time to wait, so I'm just going to wait, let's say, I'll wait uh, maybe a tenth of a second, 0.1 seconds. Now I'm going to draw it and see what happens. And you can see it kind of draw that shape out. And that is it. That's how we can use a loop to make a shape. Let's, uh, let's change it and let's make a triangle now. Instead of having to rewrite all of this stuff, I'm going to right click on my square and duplicate. And now that I've got that, I'm going to change it from an S to a T. And I'm instead of uh, repeating something four times, I only need three sides because it is a triangle. Now 90 degrees is not going to work for me if I'm doing a triangle. The way that you figure out how many degrees you need to turn on a shape is you take the number of degrees in a circle, which is 360, and you divide it by the sides. So in this case, I am going to have three sides. So I'm going to divide 360 by 3, and that gives me 120. Now if I do that and I press T, you can see now I have created a triangle. And S will get me a square. So let's repeat this again. I'm going to right click and duplicate. And instead, this time of a T for triangle, I think I said let's do a P for pentagon. Pentagons have five sides. And 360 divided by 5 is going to be 72 degrees. Let's try it out. And there you go. I have now got a square with the S. I have a triangle with the T. And if I type P, I get a pentagon. Now all of these things have the same number of sides, or same length of sides rather, there are 100 steps. Let's go ahead and draw one more. I think I said let's do an octagon. And I'm going to change that from a P to an O. And an octagon has eight sides, so I'm going to repeat this eight times. And 360 divided by eight, in this case, is going to be uh, 40, uh, 45, I apologize, 45. And uh, let's go ahead and draw it and see what happens. So I'm going to type O. Now something kind of weird happened in this case. It didn't look like the octagon. It started off working okay, but then it kind of got off a little bit. If I try that again, the same thing is happening. The reason for that is if I hit an edge while I'm drawing in Scratch, it doesn't allow my sprite to go off of the stage. So in this case, I'm going to need to uh, make my steps and move not so many steps. In this case, I think I'll go 75 steps, and then I'll draw it, and I think I'll stay on the stage. Ooh, and I just barely made it. Stayed on the stage with 75. And that's it for this tidbit. That's uh, how you might use a repeat block to create different shapes. Go code and have fun.